welcome everybody to this new video. I'm dressed in green and that is because this week, well for me this week, for you today, I will be reading Draco Malfoy fanfiction, specifically Dramini fanfiction. Fanfiction are stories written by fans of a certain fandom, in this case the Harry Potter fandom, and they just write their own story. They change the storyline, they use new characters, old characters. However, before we go into this, I'm gonna do the, the test again, okay? It's been a while since I tested which Hogwarts house I'm in, and I think it's time to do it again. Anyway, look at me. Let's do this sorting ceremony. Are we ready? I am not. Dawn or dusk? Dusk. I'm not awake at dawn. I want to speak to animals. I'm guessing the piano? We're gonna go with selfish. Maybe this. Maybe Maybe the ancient buildings. What animal would you bring with you? Owl. I would bring an owl. 100% I would bring an owl. I would bring the tawny owl. I like it. It looks cute. I'm guessing being ignored. I don't like being ignored. Left or right? Left or right? I am right-handed, so I'm gonna go with left. The sorting hat made a decision. I'm in Ravenclaw. I mean, I guess I like to read. Right? We all know, I'm somewhere in between a Hufflepuff and a Ravenclaw. I just always, I'm, I'm always surprised when Ravenclaw is the result. Closing this, and let's move to the part where we actually start talking about the fanfiction that I'm about to read. I started by actually asking you guys over on TikTok for recommendations because I am lost. So people told me I should start with Draco Malfoy and the mortifying ordeal of being in love. This is supposed to be really sweet and comfy and cozy and warm, so I'm definitely going to be starting with that one. Yeah, so see, this is the this is the cover that pops up on your Kindle. Also, if you have any more great fanfiction that you want me to read, it doesn't have to be Dramini fanfiction, by the way. My favorite fanfiction, personally, is George Weasley fanfiction. I know, it's a niche, I love it. I'm into this stuff, okay? Really into this. By the way, this entire video will contain spoilers to the original Harry Potter series. Let's start reading, shall we? This book is set 15 years after the war at Hogwarts, and Draco Malfoy is an aura who is set out to protect Hermione Granger, who is a doctor, and she developed something that we don't know what it is yet, okay? But she developed something that is so dangerous to her that her life is in danger and she essentially needs a bodyguard, and who better to be her bodyguard than Draco Malfoy? This is a lot to read, but I'm enjoying myself. So I will come back with you to you once I know a little bit more about the plot line and I can tell you a little bit more about the plot line and then I will be also back and then I will be back once I finish the book which hopefully will be today tonight whenever but I'm not sure you never know Okay, I'm about to go to bed, but I have some last opinions that I want to share with you before I forget them. So I'm now 25% in. I'm having a good enough time, okay? I don't know the maths that go into this Kindle because it still says eight and a half hours. I, I don't know, okay? I'm 25% in. I'm having a good time. However, I feel like this book is much longer than it needed to be. We're having cute moments, right? And then we have just like sentences that are like, okay, a month goes by, two months go by. It's still good. It's really, I'm, I'm, I'm like I said before, I'm having a grand old time. I'm finding myself easily distracted because things are happening slowly. It's very, very slow burn. Yeah, I need, I need at least a little bit. I need a little more speed. I just arrived at my parents' house. My parents are not here, but let's just go into my room here with my fun other bookshelf because let's talk more about Draco Malfoy, okay? Where even is my Kindle? I do not know, okay? I don't know. Let me grab the Kindle. Let me tell you about the book. Ba bam Ooh, the chair is moving. Okay, now. What's new? I did read until late last night, but not as much as I wanted. I'm about 30% in right now. We are at a house party at Malfoy Manor and we're just having a good time, okay? It's overall just a good, calm, comforting time and I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. And that's what matters most, okay? Having fun while reading. I'm just gonna read in my room. Wee. 
That's embarrassing. The turn didn't really make the turn. Okay, we didn't make the turn, but it's fine. back to go to bed and I have to whisper because my family is in this house as well and it's late at night but okay I am 41% into this book it's a lot of fun I am loving that it's extremely slow burn I'm having a great time with the plot it's easy going again it's just nice it's good it's fun and I'm just overall having the time of my life right now. I'm enjoying being in this world. My only wish were that it was set in like actual Hogwarts, but you cannot have everything, okay? You you could just you just can't. And I'm just overall having a great time. My favorite part by the way, the fan art. There's fan art in there. And it's so gorgeous. I'm enjoying this and now I'm going to bed because it is very, very late. I just got out of the shower, um, visible by the noticeable allergy against the water. I know. Why? Anyway, I have read all morning. It's now about two in the afternoon, I think. And I read all morning. I am at 70%, okay? and. This is a slow burn, all right? It's still a slow burn. I'm having fun. I said that already, didn't I? Anyway, I'm going back to reading now. <laughs> I did it. Haha, <laughs> but complete. It's a weird feeling that when you finish it, you don't have to write it because it's what you usually have to do with a Kindle book. I finished it and it was really good. I had an awesome time. This was amazing. This just made me fall in love a little bit more with the Harry Potter world. I just, I just love that world so, so much. Okay, the thing is, I'm gonna start like immediately going to the next one because um, I'm not sure what I want anymore, okay? But I just finished Draco Malfoy and the Mortifying Ordeal of Being in Love. And this title is a mortifying ordeal, but I get it now and I'm very excited and it was very cute. And I didn't cry, which is also a good sign. I am also planning, I'm not sure if I can and will be including this in this video, I will definitely be showing it to you at some point when I show you my reading journal, but I will be making a dedicated Draco Malfoy fanfiction page in the journal because I just feel like that's the right place for it. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to, to read the next one. I'm just not sure which one I want next. Okay, I've heard a lot of people telling me I should read The Disappearance of Draco Malfoy, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I have absolutely no idea what it's about. Okay, so I'm gonna read you the summary so that you and I both know what it's about. The night that Harry and Dumbledore return from the cave, the Death Eaters are delayed from reaching the top of the Astronomy Tower for one more minute. Draco Malfoy lowers his wand. The a Deathly Hollows rewrite in which Draco accepts Dumbledore's offer to fake his death and go into hiding with the Order of the Phoenix. Okay, I like this. Okay, I like it. <sighs> I already like this a lot. Beginning a Draco Malfoy redemption arc. Draco deserves a redemption arc, okay? That's the reason why I love these books, because he deserves it. I don't think he's really bad. I am just jumping into this one immediately after finishing the other one, because I have no self-control. It's late again, okay? It's it's 1 a.m. I am writing when I shouldn't be, technically, but I am. So, we, yeah, I, I didn't read much, okay? I'm 3% in. I am enjoying the book, but 
I enjoyed the other one more, okay? I enjoyed the mortifying ordeal of being in love more than I enjoyed Draco's disappearance. Which I know they're completely different books and different stories and I just... I don't like the Draco in this, okay? I'm not, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have like a redemption arc and stuff, but right now he's like mean Draco who's like entitled and I don't like that. Guess what? I take it all back. It's going somewhere, okay? It's going somewhere. 17% in. It's not a lot, okay? I'm slow right now. I'm not trying to like run through these fast as possible. Also, I'm at my parents' house. I don't usually read very fast when I'm here, but it's going places, okay? We have a very different seventh year that these are go people are going through. The fact that they're taking Draco changes the order in which they find the different Horcruxes and stuff. And it just changes a lot of different things. For example, in this, Dumbledore died a lot, lot later. But overall, it's like going places now because you just get a little deeper into Draco Malfoy and you understand him a little more, which is, I think, what is needed. And you understand that Draco is just scared. He doesn't know what to do. And that's the kind of thing that I like. And now I feel like he has more potential to actually become a good person, which is all I want from him, honestly. So yeah, we'll continue reading. However, the Kindle says I need another 11 hours and 14 minutes. Why are these fanfiction so long? Okay, to say that I'm hooked on this book would be an understatement, okay? It would be a severe understatement. I am having the best time. Why are you so crooked? Like, anyway, I'm having the best time. I'm 34% in. What? Yes, 34% in. Um, I'm so glad I didn't stop. It was just the beginning that was a little, little like, troubling. And I am loving, 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 loving that they just completely changed the plot. They change the things that happen in the last book completely. And this is actually written pretty similar to how Harry Potter was written. So it just, it feels very dynamic and I'm just enjoying it all in all. I'm going back home tomorrow, so I'll be back in my usual rhythm by then. But until then, I will just try and read as much as I can. On the drive back home to my actual bookshelf and to my home and to my books, I did a lot more reading, okay? And I, I got significantly further into this book. And actually, I am 85% in. I'm 85% in and I'm loving it. I'm really, really hyped. I love the fact that the completely the last book is basically rewritten. And it's not rewritten in the sense that, oh, Draco is just with them and doing the things. Like, okay, they're like doing things a little differently. No, they've completely made up new ways to find all the Horcruxes, to destroy them, where they could be. I will be finishing this book now, but overall, really good so far. I'm not ready. I'm, I'm so not ready, but also I am ready. Like, I'm not prepared because the thing about this book is anything can happen. Anybody can die. This person is unhinged and I'm just scared at this point because, you know, anyone can die. Anyone. The only people that I don't expect to die are Hermione and Draco. That's it. I am scared for Fred Weasley's life again. <sighs> I thought I was done with that. I thought I was done with losing Fred Weasley, but I'm not sure because anything can happen. <laughs> I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna be quiet. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> the boy who lived, come to die. It's just, it's just good, okay? And I'm just, I'm very emotional. I have been attached to this book on my Kindle for two days straight. And I am not ready for it to end. But I'm, oh, it's so good. It took a while, but it's so good. 
I'm sorry, there is an epilogue. Wait. Why is it not? There we go. I'm not ready for this. I really don't want to read this. I'm crying again. It was just one sentence. In case you cannot tell, I have a few favorite characters. And every time that their death is mentioned, I will cry. Because I am weak and I have a heart that is made out of clay. And every time you stab it, it stays stabbed. I'm sorry, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. What the Oh no. I don't, e I don't even know what to say. I think I've said all the things I needed to say during this video. It was very emotional for me, but it was very good. The disappearance of Draco Malfoy, very good. I don't even know what to say anymore. These fan fictions are like five out of five hitting it out of the park good. Honestly, I have to say, the disappearance of Draco Malfoy, in my opinion, better than Deathly Hollows. The only issue is that now I want to do what everybody does right now and I want to bind this, okay? But I already know that I don't have the patience for that. I could possibly have the skill set for it because I'm quite good with folding stuff and sewing stuff together and glue, but I don't have the patience. <laughs> it's a day later, okay? It's a day later. I did some research on the fan fictions and I decided on Who I Was With You by Curly K. The reason I decided to read this is because it has under 100,000 words. If you know, you know, that's not that much, okay? I was, I, I looked things up, okay? I looked things up. I decided that reading 300,000 words in two days is probably a little too much. That's what, how much Manacled was. And my other option had like about 200,000 words and I was like, See, that's probably about as much as Deathly Hollows itself, so I'm going with this one. So, I'm gonna read you the summary in case you're interested. Three years after leaving Hogwarts, Hermione is on the top of her field and presenting a breakthrough potion at the Worldwide Conference in Paris. When there are threats on her life by a radical wolf pack, she's assigned security for the week. As fate would have it, her security just happens to be the same man who was her first love. So, we have a pretty similar plot, I believe, to the first one that I read in this one. But let's just check it out because honestly, not all of us are super into reading 300,000 word fan fictions. Just putting that out there. Look at this. Fan art! It's the cutest thing ever in those books when there's fan art. I like it. Okay. Hermione Jane Granger, Senior Potioneer. I'm excited. Okay, I, I get what they meant with the mutual pining, okay? We have Hermione and Draco, who have been obsessed with each other since Hogwarts. That's it. So, the first thing that we learn about Draco Malfoy is that in sixth year, he smelled Hermione in his Amaranthia potion. I love Amaranthia potion. I love potions in, like, fan fictions in the Harry Potter world. My favorite trope is when they play truth or dare with Veritas Serum. I just, it gets me every single time. Anyway, I'll start reading now and I will see you all later when I have something to report. So I'm currently 30% into the book. It says I have another two and a half hours to go. I'm happy with that. This time frame, much more comfortable with it. I know it won't take me all day. Anyway, I'm having a great time with this. It's cute. It's 
cozy how they were at this convention and he's just like taking care of her and then we have some back flashes of the past and they're studying at like at Hogwarts together. Draco is a good person in this, okay? So he's just like, he's, the poor, poor boy is traumatized by his dad. He's always liked Hermione and he's never really been into the whole pure blood supremacy, which this is the kind of Draco that I like, okay? Obviously, that's the kind of Draco I like. So overall, good time, good read, good, positive, comfortable, however, not outstanding. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? But Hermione is currently describing why her relationship with Ron didn't work out because he didn't give her the feeling, okay? And she's like, okay, the feeling that she wants is just somebody sweeping her off her feet. And then she says, I sound ridiculous. And then Draco says, no, you don't. He knew the feeling he was describing. It was what he had with her. It's just the sweetest thing ever. I am 50% into this book. I'm currently crying because Draco Malfoy is picking out underwear. <laughs> they're having a little bit of a quarrel right now. Like, they're they're not happy with each other. So Hermione played a prank, went into an underwear store and told the cashier that they were having, like, tough times right now. So Draco is supposed to tell the shop owner what he likes about Hermione. And he says... I like your face and the way your nose scrunches up when you're angry and irritated and it's just the cutest thing ever. I love it. It's perfect. I'm totally fine. It's fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. What? The tears are just constantly flowing. I can't stop them at this point. It's just, it's just not possible. Why am I this emotional? I don't want to be an emotional wreck, but I am. Ta-da! I did it! I finished the book! Wait, the battery's dead. <laughs> Hi, editing me here. It is about a week later. It's actually the day that you're seeing this. And I just realized that I never filmed an outro for this video. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me. I had a blast. Let me show you something that I did, okay? This, this is the Draco Malfoy fanfiction page that I did. I am kind of obsessed. I love it. I've had a, I had a good time. I had a good time this week. I had these cute three fan fictions that I absolutely adored. Honestly, not sure if I'm gonna be reading any more fan fiction for like a video or if I'm just gonna take the fan fiction as like something that I can do while doing other things as well. But I had a good time and that's all that matters. So I hope that you had a good time as well. I hope that you're great. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you don't already. And I will see you for the next video that I make. Bye. No, no, seriously. I, I said goodbye. I mean, I mean goodbye. What was that? Also, pimple patches. Like, we're not perfect here.